What is up you guys, it's Violet Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, I am doing the item shop switchover. Not on time, I am a little bit late. I've literally just got two Vic Royales. One with the brand new um, PX5 exclusive um, Kratos skin. And I've just got a brand new win with... I'm trying to remember now which skin it was with. Uh, Green Goblin. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this item shop regardless. But anyway, jumping straight in, we had the return of the Serena um, vampire skin. <laughs> I'd say I forgot what she was then. We have Serena. The darkest shadows fall from moonlight. Part of the dark Serenity set, first introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. Looking absolutely badass, as you guys can see. Absolutely badass. Moving us up to the harvesting tool, sorry, the bat bling. We have the Night Forged Blades. Watch them shimmer in the moonlight, if you dare. Always love this because you can actually see like an actual bat face on the actual heart, um, scabbard themselves. Last but not least, we have the harvesting tools themselves, the Night Forged Blades. Really, really cool. Again, as the description says, you can unsheathe these as long as you have the bat bling equipped at the same time. Moving away from this, we have the return of the Falcon Clan bundle. Mwah! Really, really cool bundle. After, absolutely recommend grabbing this guys i have done an is it or is it not worth it bundle video on this on my channel uh check it in the is it or is it worth it um playlist on my channel really really cool definitely recommend grabbing it moving us on though uh i will say definitely recommend grabbing the glider if you don't grab all of it because the glider is pretty cool and i feel like it goes with most ninja skins one fail safe is though if you do redeploy they will hear that you redeploy because it makes like a large shriek. But anyway, really, really cool. Don't want to take anything away from the glider though. It's not a negative. Moving us on to the return of the Flap Jack Bundle in the daily store. Uh, if you guys checked out my Is It or Isn't That Worth It Bundle video on this, I was quite late because yesterday I was um, in Orton Towers all day. So I apologize for that video being late. Anyway, we have the Flap Jack Bundle. Major main cake. Buttered up and ready for batter. Part of the Flapjack set, first introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3, introduced last night. Now, if you guys don't know, this was a free skin you could earn by playing Four Guys, because if you didn't know, Epic Games owns Four Guys and uh, Rocket League. So, you could earn this by playing 100 rounds or 100 games of um, Four Guys. So, pretty much, you could just jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out of like 100 games. I think I managed to do it to about 60, and then I think I um, I think I had worked for like six days straight. So, no, sorry, I would worked for like two or three days straight, six days straight. It felt like it. Anyway, we had the Major Man Cake. Moving us on to his bat bling, we have the Waffler. If you can't flap, waffle. Again, really, really love the fact that this is an actual waffler itself, or waffle iron. Obviously, can't go anywhere with it. Baton and your syrup jar. Really, really cool. Moving us on to the last two items. Oh, la yeah, last two items for me. We have the Sweet Clementine Harvesting Tool. You're about to get a fork for. Looking really, really cool. Again, mwah, love syrup. Last two items, we have the Stacked with Love. Express yourself on the battlefield. Really, really cool. And then last but not least, we have the Stacked um, Spray. God, I can't pronounce stuff sometimes. It's so mad. Anyway, we have the Stacked Spray. Now... Before I purchased this bundle, I already owned the spray. Um, and I think, was it 1,000... Four? Five? Maybe for me? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below how much this bundle is if you guys haven't bought it and how much it is if you own one of the items. Anyway, moving us on to Castaway Jones here. And please remember, he's not lost, okay? He's just the only person on the entire Fortnite map history to get 100 kills, Vic Royale, with a flare gun. Anyway, really, really cool skin. Obviously, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. Moving us on, we have the turn of Splatterella. Llamas, beware. Part of the Llama Mercenary set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. Really, really cool skin. I definitely want to recommend grabbing this skin, guys, because, I mean, hey, we all destroy llamas when we see them. We don't leave them alone, <laughs> especially now they drop us riffs. Anyway, really, really cool skin. Moving us on to the bat bling though, we have the Llama Buster. The mark of a true Llama mercenary. Again, love the fact that the um, shield design literally looks like Captain America's shield design. 
with a big giant no for llamas. Again, love the fact that we have harvesting tools in the bat bling, but we can't actually use them. Would like them to be available in the future. Really, really cool though, don't take it away. Moving us on to the emote section of the daily store, we have the confused emote. Seriously, what happened? I have this every time I walk out of a gunfight that literally I think I should have died in and I've got zero damage to me. I'm still 100, 100. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the phone it in. Lay down a sexy groove. First introduced in OG season six. Jeez. Last two, we have the Frolic um, Icon Series emote. Nothing gets you down. First introduced in chapter three, season one. I still can't figure out for the life of me where that emote's from. I know I've seen it on something before. If you guys know what it's from, please let me know in the comments down below. It would clear my mind. Anyway, moving us on to the come here. Don't make me go over there. First introducing Champs 2 Season 1. I'm sure we've all said that to someone as well. Anyway, moving us on to the rest of the um, item shop. We do have... Um, the marble section of the um, item shop. I was going to say something then, but I forgot. Yes, that's it. Um, pretty much we're going to be running through bundles that you guys will have seen over the past couple of days and obviously bundles that we had last night, which was the flapjack bundle. Obviously, we have the marble item shop takeover. You guys know these skins will probably be here for at least, at least till the weekend. Um, I would think so anyway. So yeah, definitely recommend grabbing some of these guys. Again, if they do disappear or they are going beforehand, I will let you know. Or I'll try my best to let you know. But yeah, some really, really cool items in here. Blade. Get Blade for the new movie coming out soon. Some really, really cool items. Let's surfer. I'm still yet to see him in the MCU. And then last but not least, we have the Gods of Thunder. Really, really cool. And uh, yeah, pretty much that was the item shop. Again, sorry I'm late, but I did get two Vicrails, so that's a plus. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below. Again, which is your favorite item from the item shop tonight? And what do you rate the Flapjack bundle and the um, Falcon Clem bundle? Which one do you like more? Anyway, new, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and channel if you're new and join the team. Let's catch a vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get all for this one's upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay the vibe here and I'll catch you all in the summer. Peace.